is Matt from Matt's Vintage Video Games. Uh, this is my second installment video. Uh, today we're going to talk uh, about eBay again. Uh, this time I want to talk to you about uh, the return policy. Uh, this is a little bit of a of a rant about eBay and um, how they actually treat their good sellers. So, um, like I said before in my last video, I've been doing this now for uh, about six years now. I started in 2011, so uh, it's been about six years now I've been in business. Um, what, I, what I first realized uh, very quickly is um, people can leave you bad feedback for just about any reason they want to. Uh, eBay will pretty much tell you that that's the buyer's opinion and that they're entitled to it. And they can pretty much say whatever they want as long as they don't curse at you or slander your name or something like that. Otherwise, they can pretty much say whatever they want. So, if, let's say, you have somebody that happens to know you and doesn't like you uh, for whatever reason, uh, they can buy something from you and they can say, terrible transaction or, you know, this guy's an idiot or whatever. And... Uh, pretty much going to have to deal with that. So, that is a big problem on eBay, obviously. Um, and the other big problem is the uh, the returns policy in itself. Uh, number one, uh, whatever you send out, no matter what your return policy is set up, if you even have a return policy at all, let's say you say, no returns, as is, everything is final. Um, I don't care guys. Uh, they pack it back up in a box, send it back to you with tracking, you get it back, you're going to pay them back. Uh, that's an eBay guarantee. That's your buyer protection. Uh, it worked for you. So no matter what, um, if you set your policies up, no matter what, if they send it back, you're going to pay it. You're going to pay back the item and you're going to lose your money. Um, there are lots of videos like this out there on eBay, lots, um, and some of them I, I think they're fake. Uh, I think there's a lot of people that say a lot of st stupid stuff, um, and a lot of it's really not true. Uh, what, what I'm telling you is is my personal experiences from being online and selling online, and um, I'm telling you the truth. Uh, you can uh, take me for who I am, uh, believe what I'm telling you, or don't believe it. It's up to you. Uh, but I'm, I'm not here to lie to you and uh, blow smoke. Uh, I'm, I'm here to tell you um, about some of my experiences and how um, terribly bad some of those are. Uh, so my, my latest uh, endeavor was a Sega 3rd Gen, uh, Sega Genesis console. Uh, so I sold the item on eBay for about 40 or $50. It wasn't a whole lot of money, but it was enough um, to where I was, you know, happy to sell the item. So I packed the item up, so I did with everything else, bubble wrapped the crap out of it, um, put it in a nice, you know, um, box, um, you know, and, and send it out. And the guy gets it, and he says, well, you know, you could have done a better job packing, but... Uh, all in all, it's, you know, it's fine. It's okay. So, it gives me positive feedback and everything's good. And I said, alright, cool. You know, so, uh, don't know how I could have packed it better, but, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, uh, he wasn't happy with that, but he got it. He left me positive feedback, um, you know. Uh, a couple of days later, uh, contacts me again. Uh, says, uh, you know, something's wrong with this thing. Because it's uh, sending false values to the controllers. Um... Uh, you know, I, I've been in the gaming industry for a long time. That's a very weird thing to happen. I've never heard of that before. Uh, maybe some of you out there have. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's not something I've ever seen on an old school system. Now, on something new, uh, possibly, because you're talking about emulations and ROMs, and, um, you know, it's basically a little computer inside of there running the operations. Yeah, I could see something like that, but this is an old 1980. 588 Genesis system, I, you know, false values to the controllers, I, whatever, you know, I, I think the guy just wanted a partial refund or he wanted some money back, uh, that's that's my guess because that's what they all want. 
So I said, well, you know, gee, sorry about that. Um, pack the item back up, uh, you know, send it back to me. I'll give you a full refund, man, no problem at all. Well, instead of doing that, he opens up a return case. I said, okay, well, you didn't have to do that, but that's fine, no problem. So, yes, I'll accept your return. Um, the guy doesn't even send it back. Uh, contacts eBay. Uh, eBay uh, contacts me. Um, I, I tell the guy over the phone, um, you know, yes, I, I know what transaction you're talking about. And the guy's re uh, saying that it's sending some kind of false values to the controllers. I've never heard of this situation. I'm more than happy to, to, to do a refund. I just need the item back and I'll be more than happy to process the return. And they say, okay, thank you for your information, and uh, we'll be in touch. And I said, all right, fine. You know, And I thought that was a little odd, because I've never had eBay actually call me on a return before. So generally, it goes through the process, and it works like it's normally supposed to work. And everybody gets their item, their item back, and they get their money back, and everybody's happy. Or at least I hope they're happy. Um, but no, uh, the next day, I look into my PayPal account, and as I always check my balance all the time, that's a good thing to do, by the way, uh, and I see that they've withheld the money out of my account. So I thought, well, what in the world did they do that for? Well, they already gave him his money back. They took the money out of my PayPal account and gave it back to him. And he never sent the item to me. So he got to keep his item and got the money out of my account and got to keep the item for free. Now he's free to sell that item and make money on it, because he's already got it for nothing. So if he was a crooked seller, and he probably is, or a crooked buyer rather, eBay just let him have the item for free at my cost, took the money out of my account, gave him the money, and he still has the item. So, you go figure that one, guys. There are lots of things like this that go on on eBay and this is something that you're going to have to watch out for and be on the lookout for because it happens and it happens often and uh, that's all I can tell you for now. Um, we'll, we'll definitely do some more installments at a later date. I thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.